Hallelujah, glory to God. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always an honor. Each time I have the opportunity to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. If this is the first time you're seeing me, the first time you're coming across my channel, God bless you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please kindly consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so that whenever we are live or God gives us a prophetic word, you are not going to miss out. Like I always say, you never know when God wants to minister to you directly. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They have been assigned to watch over you day and night and to be wherever you are and to track all your movements and to make sure that nothing you do escape their eyes. But be because you do not know this, you act um, like they do not exist and you suffer consequently. But they have been put at our disposal. They have been given to us to help us. We have angelic assistance all the time. That is why the Bible says we are going to judge for the angels. You know, the Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 91, verse 11 says, for, for he will command his angels in regard to you to protect and defend and guard you in all your ways. In all your ways, I like Amplifying Versions, it goes further by saying, of obedience and service. They will lift you up in their hands so that you do not even strike your foot against a stone. Now, these angels have been assigned to protect you so much so that you are not even permitted to strike your foot against a stone. But why is it that we do... Um, we have fought, we experience resistance, we strike our feet against a stone, in quotes. It means we, we encounter unpleasant situations and there is nothing we can do about it. It's because we do not know. The Bible says my people perish because they lack knowledge. You do not know what is at your disposal. You do not know how to make use of these gifts that God has given you. I was saying earlier, that the Bible says we shall judge for the angels. It means it is your responsibility to put your angels on guard on assignment. It is your responsibility to put them to work. It is your responsibility to tell them what to do. Some of us, the angels that have been assigned to us are very, let me not say useless, but they don't have much to do because we don't give them work to do. We don't commission them. We don't tell them what to do and what not to do. So they are just watching us and sometimes they use their impulse. But you are not maximizing what God has given to you. You are not maximizing that which the Lord has put at your disposal. The Bible says we err because we do not know the scriptures. We suffer because we do not know what God has given to us. We should use it to our advantage. There are certain things that you've got to employ angelic um, um, assistance and intervention. If you know about this, it's going to make your life easier. The Bible says they would hold you up, lest you touch your foot against a stone. To, they are going to protect and defend us. So why do you find yourself in helpless situations and there is nothing you can do about it? Because you are not making use of the angels that has been that have been assigned to take care of you i want you today to make up your mind to start using angelic assistance god will not assign something to you that you do not need if god says he is assigning angels to you to help you to protect you to defend you is because you know he knows you need them and it is not wise for you to act like you do not and consequently suffer. I pray that God is going to give you the wisdom to use angelic assistance in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God will help you to know how to maximize this help that has come your way in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace, the shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. Until I come your way again, I remain your prophetic intercessor.
Keep watching the videos, keep praying with us, and keep trusting God for new levels. Shalom.